Retailers may be hunkering down with the economic slowdown, but not toymaker Mattel, which is launching an unusual retail experiment in Shanghai's most exclusive shopping district. In March, Mattel is set to open a huge Barbie Emporium, the first of its kind. The store targets both little girls and adults, with dresses by Vera Wang and Patricia Fields, the designer from Sex and the City. The store is part of Mattel's plan to revamp its 50-year-old brand. Unlike in the West, Barbie hasn't been the subject of feminist attacks in China. So, it's a little bit like starting fresh. However, in China, Mattel has a different kind of history. Last summer, the company had an embarrassing series of product recalls, which it initially blamed on its Chinese manufacturers. Mattel, however, later on apologized publicly to Beijing for what it said was its own design errors. However, with its iconic brand Barbie, Mattel hopes to gain significant market share in China, where it has long lagged behind rivals such as Japanese toy maker Bandai. China is still a very good growth market for toys. According to Euromonitor, the toy industry in China will grow by 20% per year, and that's compared to negative growth for traditional toys in the U.S. So Mattel is hoping that the Barbie Emporium is just going to be the first of many in China. This is Mei Fang from Wall Street Journal.